everyone. Uh, off on another walk today. Uh, not so much a hike, but a walk. Uh, it's just a loop one. Uh, lower Empire Lake Loop at John Tobin's Park in Coos Bay. So this is supposed to be a nice one, so uh, hopefully it's not too busy and we can get it recorded for you guys. Yeah, the pictures of the pictures of the actual walking surface look really nice. Yeah.
Empire Lake. This is, we haven't never been out here before. This is really pleasant. Just, let's take it up to the sink. Oh, look, there's a quarter pot. Oh, good. Because, <laughs> you know, me. Yeah. I think I shall take advantage of the facilities. There we go. John Toppett's Park Trail map. So you can go up that way too, is it? Wow, okay. Maybe that's where you come back out. This is like really nice. You can even go fishing here. There's a guy fishing over there. That's really cool. You know, pull up your RV, do a bit of uh, fishing. It's nice and quiet out here. I'm gonna get my fishing license back um, when I renew it. Uh, this would be a good spot we didn't know about. Nice and quiet. Yeah, that is just absolutely beautiful. So, we are here. Yeah. How long is it all the way around, does it say, it doesn't say? Um, so the whole lower Empire Lake was supposed to be about 1.8. Okay. I don't know what's up with this, but Might I mean... a bridge. There may be a bridge there. If there isn't, then it's And there's it's a wider, no the deal. blue is the wider one. That's the wider trail. I don't know what the blue is. I, I saw the red one on um, well, the, the trail thing. the blue there is... I did the blue blue trail marker and number, yeah. So yeah, it's a wider trail. Cool. So it's an outer trail, and the so red we'll, is the inner trail. We'll do the inner trail today. Yeah. Well, we'll do the inner trail and see how we feel after that. Yeah, we might we might end up doing both. So we will have plenty. To keep you guys entertained. Oh, we're heading around that way. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it backwards. Um, no, we can go up around that way. Because this way we can go this way. Are you sure that's, this isn't the way up the blue one? No, we are right here. We're on the red. Okay. So if oh, we go okay. up this path, we'll follow the red trail. Okay, all right. Well, okay, now that we're back on track, uh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, I see. Uh, so that one, that way goes up onto, the left goes up onto the blue one and this goes around. Well, we can check the post. Yeah. Uh, yeah, red, this way. That way. I think red is this way. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, we can't really get lost. It's, no. There's a circle around the whole lake, so. Mm -hmm.
let's see what we have. We have Catoni asters, rhododendrons, Douglas firs, spruce. I don't see very many two needle pines. Ooh, look at this. See the lake down there. Very nice. Salal. Lots of salal. Normal for uh, for Oregon. Yeah. Somebody I should have taken a photo of that nest. Ooh. Oh, we have it on video. Oh, what kind of bird is that? Not there so much. Stellar's J. Stellar's J. Okay. And a violet green swallow. Oh, okay. This would be the perfect spot to come fishing, you know that? It'd be just lovely. So this is the Stellar's J we're hearing. Okay. The other one was the Swallow. Like it's been redone not that long ago. Maybe three, two, three years ago. Yeah. Lovely place to come for your morning walk or jog. A steep ish incline here. It's good exercise. This would actually be a great place to come and do laps if you really want to get your walk. Identifying plants again.
green huckleberry. Evergreen. Evergreen, Evergreen huckleberry. Okay. Oh, maybe the other way looped around a bit wider and it loops back onto here where the signpost was. Yeah. Yeah, but there's two, like one if you want to take a slightly wider route on the red track, you'd come around there. So. Oh, wow. That lovely conifer aroma. Oh, yeah. This is what it smelled like when I was in the California Conservation Farm, Adelia, California. Yeah. I really like it too. This is cool. I mean, I was just saying that you could, if you, because it's up and down on hills. Yeah. It's really good leg workout as well. So you could come out here and you could do laps. You know, do do like you know two or three or four laps. Yep. You get a great workout. It's the hills that make the difference, guys. Creaking gun on there. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, that one in the I middle that's yeah. going back and forth. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fall, it's just rubbing off the other one. No, it will. Yeah. Oh, there's one down, which is straight ahead up here. Wow, this is a steep. Well, I had um, someone tell me that they they like watching these uh, hike videos while they're on the treadmill at home, so that's cool. That's exactly why we're making them. We can try this way and then... Uh... Yeah, there's two ways again here, so there's lots for us to explore around here. I can see why they wanted to put the library over here. It's a very pleasant place. Go in and get a book and come out and sit down on one of these benches and have a read. Not bad looking benches either. Quite nice. There's the parking lot back over there. You can see we're going in a loop. You can see Ebenhawk over there. Again, we're kind of down by the water now, but we're going up into a, a little bit of an incline here, which is nice. And it's identifying more plants.
had a house near the park. Near this park? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we have the car so we can come out anytime we want to walk here, you know? Which might be quite frequently. Yeah, I'm pretty stunned. It's, it's lovely. It's a really nice hike. And I love the way you get the inclines, you know? That makes a huge difference. down to the lake and we do a bit of fishing. Just go take a picture. Yeah. do we have around here? I don't know. I'm just taking photos because the app doesn't like it when we go in and out of internet. Yeah. Oh, there's a crow. He's up there. Screaming down insults upon us. Yeah. This is really spectacular. Even here you can see the evidence of the sand dunes. These were all sand dunes. A long time ago. See the organic matter starting to help them evolve. bench there and this lake is just literally right there. Ah oh, this is this is lovely. Can't believe we didn't discover this before now. Well I mean we've slowly been using the car to get further and further. Yeah. That's not that far from us. Uh, you could walk it but it is it is a bit of a distance to walk already. For six miles, I guess. Maybe another bench. See the lake down there? 
Ooh, you know what? This is the kind of bridgey part. This now that is there. on the right is on the right is the lower Empire Lake. On the left is the upper. Upper lake there. So that's our first glimpse of the upper lake. That is lovely. Let's go take a look. Ooh. And can you fish in the upper one as well? I presume you can. Look how clear that water is. Look, you can see little fish. See? I'm not sure if you can. Oh, look at them. The little small fellas. Hope the camera picks them up. <laughs> see them? All the little fish. They're frogs. Yeah. Hi, tadpoles. Are they tadpoles or are they fish? They might be tadpoles or minnows. I'm not good yeah. with identifying. They're moving too fast. Oh, there's another car park down here. Looks like a lot of people. I wonder what's down there. I think that's the way back. Okay. Yeah, because there's another car park. That's probably the car park for the upper lake. Yeah. Which is right there next to us. Oh yeah, look at the bridge. This is the bridge that was marked. Oh, this is nice. That's definitely not a raccoon, that's a jay. Yeah, he's down there somewhere. Probably looking straight at us, I'm guessing. Something moving in there right next to me. Uh, maybe a chipmunk.
behind. We'll go into another incline here. Here with the same post. Yellow that way. Red that way. I have no idea. Probably that way. Probably this way back down around the lake, right? We're going to be out here again because there is a lot to explore out here. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is. Like the giant prehistoric cabbage things. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know how many times in one day I can say beautiful, but mm -hmm. that's what it is. Oh yeah, doing laps out here. You know, if you if you weren't stopping, like you just came out here just purely for the exercise, doing, yep. doing laps. Oh, you'd be. Well, it's a fantastic place because the uh, the wind is being buffered by the trees. Exactly. So yeah. we're not That's really not feeling bench. the. Uh, we're not really yeah. feeling that 16 miles an hour. Yeah, exactly. We're kind of well sheltered here, you know. This is just beautiful. Another path down to the lake. So there's plenty of access like for fishermen, you know. We just have to look the rules then. Yeah. There may be areas we can't fish. Yeah. Exactly. On a bench, lovely place to sit and relax. And actually, you can see the car park, Evan Hawk is right across there. It's gone almost full circle. And I noticed some people Sitting who are marine. inner city people, yeah, this covering on the lake that you see might yeah. seem really bad, but it's it's actually part of the actual environment lake yeah. process of changing and evolving, yeah.
and you could really walk you know get up to a good pace here too because it's a lovely surface you when you're going through um hiking trails a lot of time you know you, you have to be very aware and very careful because a lot of tree roots do yourself an injury but here it's a lovely surface you could really whether it's jogging uh, or walking you could really get up to speed here but they're very Lord of the Rings like. They are very Middle Earth like, yeah. Yeah, just look at that. Hi, Bill. <laughs> yeah. This actually looks quite similar to their journey on the way to Bree. Well, yep. you know, before they got to. Uh, the ferry and the Nazgul came down the road, you know. Get off the road! Get off the road! That one just goes down to the lake, so yet again, like more access. We can go down and give you guys a look. Oh, look, this is either an old bridge or... The, yeah, that's definitely got to be an old bridge. This is where there used to be a bridge but probably got washed away in a flood or something. Yeah, look, you can see the, the yeah, post. Yeah, because the trail on the other side is washed out as well. You can see the post there. Yeah, so it used to be a lovely big bridge here. I wonder at some point will they will they redo it? Well, if the they don't want to mess with the ecology on the other side, so Yeah. That looks very old. This happened a long time ago. That's a very old yeah, bridge. Yeah, it did. Hopefully get this edited and uploaded uh, before I stream tonight. I'll be streaming of course on Twitch a bit later on. Under the account Tux Ramos. And I'll be streaming some Lord of the Rings online. At the moment I might change my mind on that. That very pretty chirping you're hearing is a Swinson thrush. Swinson's thrush. Okay. Here we go with another incline. <laughs> Everywhere we go in the Antwerp's nightmare. Yeah. Big one. We have a couple of big ones at the moment in Eastern Oregon. Hope all the firefighters uh, stay safe. They're doing an incredible job. Spot. Look how green that is. Should be 
we start to head back around to the other side now. Oh, we'll make it back eventually. Oh yeah. Just look how green that is in there. It's absolutely lovely. Like we head up this way. Going back to the car, this is the oh, show. This is the way to the lake. Hi, everybody. Hello. 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 And another incline here. This is a nice one. I just can't get over the conifer smell. Yeah, it's beautiful. Somebody quick invent smell o vision. Okay. Now, I would say it's this way, but we haven't gone all the way. I'm, I, I'm not sure. Let's try this way. Uh, worst that can happen, we have to just come back. Yeah. And it's so pleasant out here. It is. I see the lake down there, so I think you could be right with this this direction. That other way probably goes up onto the blue trail, the upper trail. It joins up. Downhill. You can see we're right next to the lake. This is, we're going to be coming out here a lot more often. This is absolutely lovely. There we go. houses right there. see it out there it's just it's just lovely great spot for fishing just so 
relaxing here. It's just, you know, it's quiet, it's relaxed, it's, oh, it's, just, it's so pleasant. Again, it splits. I would think down there it goes on to the upper trail. That's what it looks like. Well, actually, yeah, there's a road there, but I would think that would probably lead to the blue trail or upper trail. And this one leads back. You can see the car park where Ebenhawk is along there. Wow, that's a big one. Holy moly. That's got to be a redwood, right? Uh, a baby redwood. I don't know. It's massive. The leaves are so high up you can't get them. Put a uh, ant highway on it. Ant highway? Yeah, the, the big ones tend to have those. Is it bark? Yeah. They grow really tall as well. Yeah. Ah, we found our way back. We did. Oh, just fantastic. When we get our fishing licenses, you now we have a spot to come to yep. and fish in peace. And it's just too bad you can't camp overnight here. Yeah, well, it's kind of understandable. It's just, yeah, it's lovely, just lovely. And we're taking more pictures. back which is brilliant so let me see if I can get you guys turned around here so that was absolutely amazing yep yep definitely come back here very soon oh absolutely I mean I think this place will probably become like a, a regular walking spot for us oh see yeah up there behind us yeah you it's see a incredible. little vulture or eagle or something up there maybe an osprey where is it? Well, there was, there, yeah, there was a the seagull trees. there a while ago. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed <laughs> that one. Uh, we're going to go get some refreshments after yep. that. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm getting there now as well. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Have a good one. See you later. Oh, so that was, that was really worth doing. And I'm glad we discovered it and found it because we will definitely be out here again. Oh, as often as possible. I love the walking surface. Yeah.
Um, you know, like if you just want to come out and really do pace laps, you do a couple of those laps and, you know, you're going to be fit as a fiddle in no time. Yeah. You know. Brilliant. Let's see. I was on about a mile before we got out here, so what am I on now? So it's 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 just a little bit over a mile. It's about a mile and a quarter around. So you know, if you did three of them at pace, you'd be doing really well. Now the upper walk is longer. Mm -hmm. So that might be worth it too. You know, that, that, yeah. You know, that would really add, add to it. Like. We should, it's well worth it. Unfortunately, the tent won't be here in time for my birthday. However, let's make plans after that. Yeah. Lovely spot to come out fishing too. Oh yeah. It's in the video. Look at the weather we're having. No fishing in the beach or designated swimming areas. Okay. Across the spillway. There was a guy fishing there when we got there. Mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's not a... There are obviously designated swimming areas where yeah. I assume there are signs. Yeah. Might be a nice place to go for a splash around too. Um, I haven't been swimming in so long. Donkey's yours. Yeah, I'm just not, uh, I'm not big on lakes because I, I kind of know what's in them and I'd rather swim in like mountain streams that are moving quickly. Oh, yeah. get to see a bit of where we live too, you know, because it's lovely. The ultimate dream would be to be, um, to be able to fund, you know, uh, traveling and uh, recording the hiking video. Uh, that, that would be lovely. awesome.
this was a mistake. I don't want to swing around. Nope.
so you yeah. can get Barry's tea in there. The cheese, nice yeah. cheeses. We can get like we can get Kerrygold cheese and butter and Dubliner cheese at Chef Store. But um yeah, you know like Yorkshire black tea, Barry's tea, you know, um, those types of things are you can get at Safeway, so we're gonna miss that. Thanks so much for watching, following and subscribing. Um, well, subscribing on YouTube, I guess. The, the channel isn't monetized yet, however, there are donation links uh, through LibrePay in the description. Uh, and that would be fantastic uh, because, you know, fuel isn't free. Uh, and we want to expand and do a lot more of these types of videos. So, thanks again for watching. Have a good See one, guys. See you later.